Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue Crew. I'm Argelfumpf. This is the 2020 Nancy Drew Games Mega Marathon. And this is Nancy Drew Ghosts of Thornton Hall. So this is game number 28. Game number 28 in the Nancy Drew series. It's really scary, uh, actually. You know, you know the, the TV show uh, of Nancy Drew, which came out uh, last year, which is mostly scary ghost stuff instead of mystery? I think maybe they were inspired by this game, because it is just scary ghost stuff all over the place. And hey, uh, people in the live stream chat are saying, I need to play on Master Sleuth mode. So let's do it. Woo! So we start with Nancy Drew in her bedroom at night, very sleepy. She wakes up because the phone is ringing, and apparently Nancy's phone does not have voicemail, so it just keeps ringing until you answer. Oh my gosh. What time is it? Light. Savannah? Is that you? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Can it wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. A girl, just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Mm-mm. They know. Jessalyn needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you call the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. Woohoo! Nancy's going to solve the mystery. So, I, I, I don't know if you noticed, but we finally got a fast forward button in this game. I'll show it off during a, a later conversation, but oh my gosh, that was super cool. People have been asking for that for at least 10 years, and this game finally delivered. Woohoo! You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject, Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Yes, uh, a very, very gossipy fairy man. So, how, how is my uh, 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 microphone? Is it too loud? This. Um, I don't know if that does anything. Does that sound better with my microphone like this? I don't want to be too loud. I don't want to be too loud because I'll be screaming. Ah! Look at those evil, evil, evil trees. Very, very evil. Oh, and guess what? Uh, Thornton Hall has its own uh, personal graveyard. Hey! You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name? Get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. I love the comments on the microphone. Some people are like, oh, oh, okay, it, it's too soft. And, and other people are saying, eh, no, it's a bit loud. I'm like, ah! 
<laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll, I'll leave it at this level. This level seems good, and we'll continue. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. What kind of mess did she drop me in, sir? What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living or the dead? Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. Sounds good. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. Okay. Good, good, good. Do you know Savannah? I did. Once. And now? And now I don't. Now she's just somebody that I used to know. Somebody I used to know. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carry these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. Wow, so that's kind of crazy. Imagine you, know, you, you get a crush on this woman because you both go to the same creepy bookstore, and it turns out she's reading a book about you. Oh, wow, that sounds like that sounds like a mystery in and of itself, to be honest. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, maybe he's not on the side of good. I think you are on the side of good. I don't know. Which option should I pick? Yeah, Wade is probably my favorite character of uh, the game, too. Maybe Harper, but he seems like the character in the game I would be most likely to spend time with in real life. Possibly because he's the one who seems least likely to murder me. So... Hooray! Hooray for Wade! I don't know how old Wade is. Uh, we can figure out how old Wade is, actually. Uh, we get a family tree later on, so we get to see how old he and all the other characters are. Good, good. Maybe he's not good. Okay. People think he's good. I think you are. Don't be so sure. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here. Seeing the state we're in. But we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead. Especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. See you later. Adios. Yeah, somebody mentioned Jesselyn. She might be cool to hang out with in real life. Ah, uh, well, we'll meet her later on. Oh, hey, guess what? She gave us a scavenger hunt. Oh, let's let's do the scavenger hunt here. We need to do the gravestone epitaph hunt. 
which is word and then letter. So let's see, let's look at the gravestones. Oh, this is empty. No need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Adios. It is funny how he says it that way. Here's Harper. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. I'll see if I can find one that I can explain. It is kind of a, a long, difficult puzzle. Okay, um, that's for a different puzzle later on, uh, that May Newton person. Beauregard. Beauregard Thornton. Mean old codger. Mean old codger. He died in 1935. I don't think you got a chance to meet him, Wade. You should find her voice once more. Here's Charlotte. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. Okay, so Charlotte is the ghost. So four, two, word in the letter. So word four, one, two, three, four. Letter number two is W. So that letter is W. And then LA is gonna be Luther Atchison, I believe. Oh, that's Lee Thornton. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. Here he is. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. So it's gonna be I and then W. And uh, this is the password to uh, Jesselyn's phone. That's why I'm solving this puzzle. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about 10, Rosalie got real sick. Every day, Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself, but Rosalie wouldn't say. Ruby Newton. This is, uh, well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check out the other part of the cemetery later. Roger and Marie, side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. May they rest in peace. <laughs> Excellent. And it's this is locked. locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Yeah, we'll check out the far side later. Okay, so that's basically a, a puzzle, uh, cool. Jesselyn? Excuse me? Sorry, of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jesselyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. 
Welcome to Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. I found it in the house. Oh, sweet, yeah. It's the phone. I just found the password to the phone. Hooray! Is this Jesslyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Were you and Jesslyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. You said it two sentences ago. Could you answer my question? Goodbye. Goodbye. What a weird fiancé. Okay, I'm the fiancé. Yeah, I definitely have regrets about getting married. Oh, oh, and by the way, my fiancé has completely disappeared. Uh, that, that's, uh, very not good. Mm-hmm. So we need to fix her phone. I believe we fix it... Uh, we, we, we find a bunch of stuff here if we don't fix the phone. Oh, an electricity manual. Uh, you can use fruit. So you use nails. Yeah, yeah, nails. Nails and, uh... Oranges? This looks like a painting. I should find somewhere to place it. Woohoo! Excellent. That was a thingy. I, I, uh, yeah, I don't know what that thingy is. It's a thingy thingy. Cool. This is a cotton gin, I believe. This is a table. Huh, found some coins. Excellent. Apple picker, which Nancy's just gonna carry with her because why not? Thornton Family Cotton Processing. The doors from the barn that house the equipment for processing cotton. Many a worker lost their fingers in the processing room. That didn't sound good. I just wanna go inside. Wait the No! <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a game over sequence. There's a spade. And let's see. Uh, turpentine. I feel like I'm forgetting something here. Wah! Dark shadows out of nowhere. That's just Creepy. A bag of cotton. It looks like the painting is missing. Found it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, where's the painting? Here it is. There it is. Hi, Franklin. Franklin Thornton. Good to know him. Good to know. I found a phone charm. That's neat. This is where Nancy sleeps. The ghost of Thornton Hall by Savannah Woodham. Nancy, here's some of my old paperwork from when I was looking in Charlotte myself. I know you're going to be looking for Jessalyn during the day, but night's the best time to investigate. Really? Really? Nancy's going to be investigating during the daytime? <laughs> Not in this game. It's all scary nighttime stuff. And these are readings, I mean interviews, basically, about seeing Charlotte's ghost. People see Charlotte's ghost everywhere. It's very creepy, very scary. <gasps> like this! Charlotte? What was, what was that? that? Oh man, okay, so Charlotte's ghost hanging around here. That was her bedroom. Oh. What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. 
I think I need a napkin to use the paint thinner to see what was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So, yeah, yeah, the ghost. Very, very scary ghost thingy. I'm going back here. I thought there, like, I need to get... I need to get, um... What is it? Like a hammer and and nails. I've got the hammer. Here are I the nails. I need to find something to remove these nails. But I still need I still need those oranges. So let's get the oranges here. And a napkin. I already have one. Excellent. Sorry, Clara. I'm doing this puzzle right now. I'll see you in a moment. Time to recharge the battery. So I, I put the oranges in. I put pennies in the oranges. Can't do that yet. I put nails in the oranges. All right. Let's see if all those oranges did the trick. And that will soon. It's not charged yet. Charge up that phone. Let's go upstairs now. So let's see. I use the napkin. Paint thinner on the napkin. There's something back there. What is that? Are those graves? I think it might be Jesslyn hanging out by some graves in the graveyard. Dun 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 dun. dun. So we're gonna check them out. We're gonna check I can't them out. Leave now. Those graves. This is a nice little statue. I kind of like it. And the graves. Fifty-four souls. Fifty-four souls. So Fifty-four people died in the factory accident. Wade, can you tell us more? Wanna hear a ghost? Check it out. Well, that is creepy. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. Wow, I could talk to him about a gajillion things. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. Half saying this'll never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. I like this. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? Uh, what? You ended up in jail, Wade? You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but... I heard through a friend of the guy down the way, you know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks, hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad, locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked, right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. 
I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. Interesting. So that's why he ended up in jail. Destroyed one of his family's machines. I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. Goodbye. Adios. <laughs> okay, goodbye, Wade. Goodbye. Goodbye. Haven't done... Haven't done that. Haven't done that. I have done nothing so far. So much work and nothing has been accomplished. You hey, must be Nancy. Hey, Clara. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact, Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse, but I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. What's the story with the locked room upstairs? It's Charlotte's. We don't go in there. It might help me figure out what's going on, if I could take a look around. Best of luck. That door locked itself up tight the day of her funeral. There's not a key in this world that'll open it. I've tried. <laughs> oh, you think that's gonna stop Nancy Drew? I'm sorry, it's not. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. You just happen to have her phone number? She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. Wade said you're the reason he went to jail. Is that true? No. Wade is the reason Wade went to jail. He said you were the one who pressed charges. Well, isn't he the chatterbox when it suits him? Is that true? Yeah, it is. What he doesn't get, what no one gets, is that I meant well. No matter how he explained it to you, he broke the law. He broke into the factory, he damaged thousands of dollars of equipment, and scared the workers half to death. I didn't think he'd go to jail, though. And he knows that. What did you think would happen? I thought community service. An officer to keep him away from his crooked friends so he would finally straighten up. I planned on dropping the charges, but once the ball got rolling, I lost control of it. Wade ended up sitting across from a judge who wanted to make an example. And that was that. Wade has wanted his revenge ever since. I even... Oh, it's stupid. I even suspected him of taking Jessalyn to get back at me. But he'd never do something like that. I mean, I don't think. I'd better get going. Take care. Alrighty, let's see... We have a book. Another book. Those books have, uh, I believe, clues for a puzzle later on. Let's see. I think we can call... We can call the friend, Addison. Hello? Addison? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm call Is this about Jessalyn? Yeah. I can't. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. So let me show uh, the fast forward through these conversations. What do you think of Colton? What's to think? The bedroom key is cro- Can you walk me through what- so Is there any- Actually, upstairs, Jess was desperate to- Between you and me, I was relieved that she could- I What- in Jess How's Jess? How That's what fast forward looks like. Did you notice any? Wow. 
Wow, there's a How lot to talk to her about. What I could feel she would she would. You said things got strange. What did what you, do mean? you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing but fuzz. I, it was the, you said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she, she said Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd ask that and, and because oh, Yep, Nancy was sure quick to get a photo for that phone contact. Yes. I'd better get going. Find Jess. Yeah, so fast forward. Definitely a, a super useful thing. So I believe she said they did a cool scavenger hunt, which... It's not charged yet. We already knew. Oh, come on, phone. Charge, charge, charge. Hurry up and charge. Ah, okay. Well, while we're waiting for it to charge, let's follow that this storyline. Like it's coming from upstairs. Occasionally, when you enter the house, you hear creepy moaning from upstairs. That means there's a message for Nancy. Make yourself blind. Call Charlotte home. I need to figure out what this means. So recite a rhyme with dreadful meter. Okay. So we get this rhyme from Wade. Ugh, you scared me. Sorry, sorry. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the stories started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's... Yep, and that's the scary rhyme. I'd better get going. Adios. <laughs> Just keep saying adios. All right, and we need to make ourselves blind with this. Another napkin. So, where the dreadful meter is at its charts. peak. This must be the place. You want to make yourself blind, don't dare peek. Call Charlotte home and hear her speak. So, it's Here goes. Come here. Here, ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Wait, oh, those aren't the words. Those are the wrong. Oh, no, I got the words wrong. Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. What's going on? Where are you taking me? Tell me, who are you? Nancy, I'm here to help Jesslyn. Give me a reason to let you live. Mind you, a good one. What? One reason to spare you. Give it to me now. The spirits are growing impatient with my mercy. That's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's too late for that now. Remove the blindfold. Just who are you? Harper, can I trust you? Can you be trusted? So this is Charlotte's crazy sister. Well, that depends. Can you be trusted? That's a no now, isn't it? You'll be wanting to know why I am hiding under the house. That would be at the top of my list of questions, yes. It's because I don't want anyone up there to find me. Why not? It is undeniably frigid here. Cold as the crypts themselves. I'll build a fire, and the fire will build some smoke, and the smoke will build some rain. Are you ignoring my question? Not ignoring, no. Elongating the moments in between the asking and the hearing, pausing for effect. Okay. Could you tell me now? A moment, hon. <clears throat> it's because I'm a grandly unbalanced sociopath with delusions of grandeur and a history of erratic behavior and violent tendencies. My family resents me. They have publicly said that I am a freak. People in the town point and stare. The neighborhood children used to call me witch lady until my dedication to the ironic led me to bake cookies for the sweet darlings. But it was my love of the dramatic reversal that won out in the end, and I threw the little runts down a well. 
You what? Oh, I'd never do such a thing. But it would be funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny. Ah, help, I'm in a well. So that's me. Tell me about you. I bet you're fascinating. I... Oh, wait, shut it. I forgot the most important thing. Do not tell anyone I am down here. If you do, I'll... I'll just do something rotten. Here, take this. What is it? Go now. Oh, it's the next puzzle. Okay, so that's Harper. That's Harper. She blindfolds Nancy, takes Nancy to the basement, and uh, then uh, dramatically talks about throwing kids down a well and sends Nancy on her merry little way. Da! Jeez. Okay. I could have died there. Whoa. What? Hi. Wait. Where is everyone? Hmm. I should look for those portraits. Oh, portraits. Okay, portrait puzzle. Okay, so we need to uh, clean off the portraits. The letters must be what that note was referring to. All right, now to find all the others. Some of them have letters. In certain spots. I'm not sure which portraits. So let's just look at them all. I hope Harper didn't just scratch letters on all these portraits just to give Nancy a puzzle. I don't know. I really would not put that past Harper. No letters on this portrait. Do I have all of them? No, I need uh, two more. I think there's one here. Almost impossible to see that one. And then one downstairs here. Excellent. Go outside and go back in. Oh, hey, Colton's gone too. Yeah. Colton and Clara just disappear randomly. Just sort of randomly. Which one am I missing? Yeah, what portrait am I missing? I don't know, but the phone might be working now. Hmm, looks like I need to figure out the password. So, as I said many, many minutes ago, the scavenger hunt is basically the password. So the password is P R D R Y R I W. I should use my phone to make a call messages. Come on, it'll be fun. It better be. Or what? I reveal so much personal information at your wedding toast. Please come back. Please be okay, Jess. Did you get the invertebrates? What? Invertebrates. Mom, that does not clarify things. Invertebrates. Yes? No invertebrates. I'll make a note of that. No invertebrates. I'm sending this photograph backwards. Uh, she's having trouble with, uh, uh, She's having trouble with autocorrect. I think it's not invertebrates. I think she's trying to say invitations. I'm typing slowly and angrily. People need to know about the wedding. Why didn't you just typewriters that? Jesse, call me right now. Your mom's on the warpath. This wedding needs to chill. I don't really care about the catering. Can't we just get pizza? What? Mom invited all of my teachers. That can't be bad. That's not the point, okay? Gosh, Mom! Yeah, it does sound like Jessalyn was having some, uh, problems. Eddie! Eddie, come here quick! I seriously- Shh! Ah! What? What? Shh! No, listen. I'm- What? That's a lit not in my family. That is not the title of this pro- Oh, when I- With this- No, Some of these are very silly. That's such a That's exactly it. We're here to... 
Okay, I think Where the spider was an important I thing. Just, maybe not for you, but two movies in, I was thinking. The serpent rests. I think I know what. Whoa! But I know your car. Just yeah, I know. And they got inside Jeff? that grave area. Jessalyn! Ooh, scariness. This isn't funny. Where are you, Jesse? I don't want to be alone. Please stop. Please, please come back. This isn't. Okay, so evil spider attacking. Where was that spider attack? Was it somewhere here? <laughs> By the floorboard! Yes, it was! This looks like some sort of code. Yeah. So here we want to spell out, uh... Spell out the name of one of the four colors. So... Color number... No, not number. Colors are numbers. Yellow. How do we spell out yellow? Um... L-L-O-W. That's it. It's gotta be like this. L-L-O-W. And then that's the exit? Yeah, that's the exit. Done. Part two. Okay, now we need to go through all the yellow letters. I think. Okay. Go down for that H, and then E. So we have to go down to get the G. We're spelling out Ethel's grave, so once you know what you're spelling out, that makes this way easier. Ethel's grave. It must be tied into that picture in the corner somehow. Yep, so that's Ethel's grave. We'll be solving that, what, on the second day of the game, I believe? I think that's where we'll solve that puzzle. In the meantime, still trying to find, uh, all those paintings. Let me just leave and come back. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to find... We're missing one. We're just missing one of them. Did that one. I'm looking for number uh, painting number six. Not that painting. Not this one. This one, we can't even zoom in on that one. It's gotta be one in this room with Clara. Right? Hmm. Is this one? I think this was it. That's it. Got it. Now I should be able to figure out what the code means. So it's cotton gin. 
get seeds, balance scales. That's it. So this is how we will find a Harper. We need to fix how do the I get cotton this working gin first. Again? It's it's broken. It's broken and stuff. I need to put the combs on first. This is like a really difficult puzzle. We need to get the combs on, but they need to go in the correct order. Oh, it's basically just trial and error until you find the correct order. It's gonna be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fixed it. Whew. Hmm. So I have cotton. For Done. That's all of the seeds. Ooh, this is gonna be a math puzzle, isn't it? I have it? to find a way to balance these scales. I need to use every seed, don't I? So how many seeds do we have? We're gonna have to put some some of these over here on the left. Oh, no. Okay, so that is... Let's see if I can get this balanced. No. Perhaps I move a 5 to a 7 for an extra 2. No. Okay. Yeah, this involves math, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, hey, and if I take off the 1... They're perfectly balanced. So this side is one more than the other. So let's see if I can do that. So if this side's one more than the other, I'll take a three over here and then a two over there, perhaps, right? No. And that would leave them perfectly balanced at one. Okay. So I want to get this one less. So f six over here. And then a three over there. Oh, now, now this one side is two more than the other. Oh my gosh. Okay. So they're perfectly balanced. I need to find a way to get these sides to equal each other. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot about this puzzle too. Oh boy. So let's see. A five. Um. Because these don't equal each other in the slightest. No, three plus one equals two twos, correct? Three plus one equals two twos. Yeah. I don't think that quite works though. Yo, no it does, okay. My math worked out. Three plus one is four. Two plus two is four. That's how you get them to balance. That math probably doesn't make sense. Anyway, it worked. So I'm calling that a puzzle victory. That looks new. It might be Jessalyn's. And we found Jessalyn's, uh, Jessalyn's backpack. So wedding notes. Crazy wedding notes. And there's part of the key to Charlotte's room. The Thornton family tree. Hmm, might come in handy. Okay, so Wade was born in 1973. Yep. And this is where Harper lives. Hi, Harper. Speak. Woof, 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 woof. Uh, oh, wait, wait, sorry. I'm not her pet dog. Why are you here? Jessalyn, poor little Jessie Lamb has... Vanished, they say. Can't have that. Not here. No, no, not on the island. 
Why not here? No, I won't let the workers have her. Workers? They won't rest, and they want Jessalyn just like they took sh... No. Took who? Don't you worry. You can't have her. You have taken enough. You think the ghosts of the workers stole Charlotte, too? Do you really believe in the ghost? Her name is Charlotte, and I've seen her. She's spoken to me. What exactly did her ghost say? Boo. Huh. Not my fault she's a stickler for convention. She also says, get out. Oh, right, almost forgot. She says that she hates you and she wants you to leave. Hmm. So she sounds like a typical member of the Thornton family. This house is pretty run down. Are you sure it's safe to use that furnace? No. Maybe you should not use it? You could be filling the house with fumes. Sounds like upstairs people problems to me. I'm downstairs people. What do you think of Wade? The Wade man of Alcatraz. Don't trust him about a single thing in this living world. The world of the dead, he understands that. What do you know about Clara? She's cold. She's a cold person, nothing like Jessalyn. Ask her about Jessalyn. See how she reacts. Not like the caring mom she's pretending to be. Not if you really look. Were you and Clara close as children? I don't want to talk about it. You don't have to go into it. Should I even have to? Look at me down here, and she's up there. I try not to hate her, but I can't help it. Can you tell me a little more about Clara? I could, but as a lover of the written word, I prefer show, not tell. So why don't you go ask her about her daddy? Goodbye. Goodbye! Hmm. Okay. This is gonna be a puzzle. Looks like it's missing a piece. Yeah, that's gonna be a long puzzle, I think. Alrighty, what else can we look at here? Ooh, phone charm. Can't examine this yet. I think these are all areas with puzzles that we can't access yet. Yeah, this is a book. That's not important. Yeah, no, 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 okay. Basically, we found our way to, to Harper. Now we can tattletale on her. Hello. There's a strange woman in the basement. What? That can't be right. I swear, Harper was there. Nancy, I've got enough to deal with. Stop playing games or I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. But, 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 Harper was in the basement. I, I swear. I'm not lying, I'm not lying. There once was a ghost who could only write notes. She lived in the walls and she loved to float. Aw, oh, that's nice. Okay, so this is a puzzle. That's one of those puzzles. Ooh, I love this music. I need to follow the instructions from the note. So, uh, the instructions. Let's solve this. C before I before K. N before B, F is not first or fourth, K after N, I is third, C is before I, which is before K. So it's gotta be, um, and I was third. Okay, how many letters are there? Six letters, C, I, K, N, B, F, okay. So, N, B, mm, K after N, K is after N, and N is immediately before B, so it's got to be N, B, K, C, C, F, N, B, K. Um, okay, that's got to be it. C, F, N, no, C, F, I, N, B, K, ah, C, F. That was an F. Wow, this is this is even tougher than the puzzle. Okay, C. One, one, two, three, C. 
then F, then I, one, two, I, I is third, and then it was N before B, and then K after N, but N is immediately before B, so it's N, B, K. So, N, B, and then K. Woo! What was I supposed to think? One day you were just gone. It's cold. I better listen. Lexi. And I hope you understand how much that makes me hate you right now. Who is Lexi? I don't know who Lexi is. Okay, so let's see. Um, Nancy finds this camera, which has a bunch of puzzles. So many puzzles for us to solve. Uh, yeah. I think the first one is here. This looks like one of the pictures from Jessalyn's camera. There must be something hidden here. It's like a dinosaur over here. Oh my gosh. Let's get that dinosaur. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. Maybe the culprit has been making things explode in order to get dinosaur fossils? Hmm. Hmm. So this is the Ethel's Grave puzzle. As I said, uh, we'll be solving this sort of on the on the second day of the game. Second day of the game. What's happening? I better get some rest. Oh. No offense, oh. but you sound really tired. Been burning the midnight oil at both ends? Feels like it. I must have slept through the day. <sighs> but I still feel exhausted. Maybe you should pace yourself a bit. I know. Wait, hang on. Hang on? Why? Is there a ghost? No, I see something. Uh, call you back later. Another note. So, we've got so many puzzles here. Okay, so this is one we can't solve now. Okay, well then I'll worry about that later. Uh, cameras. Okay, so just, just vote for the one you want to see me solve first. Um, the get inside the graveyard, uh, puzzle, uh, the, the mausoleum puzzle. Uh, get behind here puzzle. So the barrels, uh, the mausoleum, that's, um, part of the mausoleum as well. The hidden area, how's that? So the barrels are the house where, where, uh, Charlotte died. I think those are the ones that we can do immediately. So which one, which one do you want to see me do? So this puzzle is, it's gonna take place inside the mausoleum, but we need to solve, we need to get the mausoleum key first. We could have found a way. Oh. I should listen. Lexi, I know you still care about me. I want to see you when this is all over. I know. All I said is I want to see you. Then why did you pick up the phone? Just see me. It sounds like he's talking to Lexi. Hey. Did you listen in on my call? Who is Lexi? What are you talking about? The girl you were on the phone with? You don't know what you heard. You understand me? That is the second time you have called her on the phone, Colton. I think she is someone important to you. I don't want to talk about it. Your fiancé is missing, and the way you're talking to this Lexi... You want a conversation? Fine. I love Lexi. I want to spend my life with her. You're engaged. That was based on a lie. Clara, my parents, even Jesselyn. They were all in on it. Jesselyn? Are you sure? She'd have to be. I mean... I haven't considered that she might not be yet. Before Jess and I got together, I was with Lexi. Until one day she called and said it was over. She wouldn't even see me. Then, she was gone. And now I find out. My parents pushed her away, and Clara pushed me and Jess together. Mom and Dad wanted a piece of the Thornton fortune, and Clara wanted a piece of the Birchfield influence. So excuse me for being conflicted. I want Jesslyn safe, but... I still don't understand what's going on. Why are you here? To try to forget something. Forget what? I guess it must have worked. So he's basically saying he was totally in love with Lexi, 
until Clara and his parents worked behind the scenes to set him up with Jessalyn. Oh my gosh. Do you know much about Harper? I heard she's in some psych hospital or something. But that's all I know. I saw her around once in a while when I was a kid, but I don't remember much. Did Jessalyn ever say anything about her? Just that she seemed scared of her. Maybe they had a past, but I don't know. So, things would really work out for you if Jessalyn just disappeared. Do you really want to ask me that? Yes, I do. Go away! Now! Ah, well, I tried. I tried. I better copy this design. First of its kind across the bottom. Should probably take a picture of this too, Nancy. There we go. Okay, so that's a puzzle for the graveyard. It looks like people wanted the barrel thing first, uh, and then check out the hidden area. I'm not sure if the barrel goes anywhere, but let's do it. Barrel, barrel, barrel. It's more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Yeah, okay, so this it's useful for later on in the game. I don't need it right now. This looks like the picture from the camera. And the hidden area where Charlotte died? Right here. Right here. The numbers along the edges should help me arrange the tiles correctly. This puzzle. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Okay, this is a three and a four. And this is a four and a four. And this is a two and two. Meaning this is going to be blank. That's the only way it works out for this to be a three and a four. So that means this one's going to be uh, blue here to give us blue. And then, um, because this one's four and four, it's gonna be like this. And there, I've done that row completely. Fantastic. So this column is a two and a two. It could be these two middle ones, and it could be this one as well. So let's see, what stops it from being these two middle ones? Absolutely nothing. It ha this, this column goes all the way down. So it has to be like that. don't know if I'm good with this puzzle or not. So this can't have anything in it because that would have too many for that. So this has to be a blue for that to be done. Okay. And then this row is a three and a three. I can't figure out anything from that. This row is a two and a one. Can't figure out anything from that. Oh, oh, and these are, these rows are four and four. So they need to be filled up all the way. So those two rows totally filled up all the way. Good, okay, got most of it figured out. So a three and a two, we need a red and a blue here. So it's gotta be like this, something like that. So it's either here or here is a red and a blue. It can't be there because that would be a red next to a red. So it's gotta be red and blue like this. And then these columns are all finished. So let me make these blank. Woo, okay, so then I have to finish this column that column's all done okay and this needs a one and a one it's obviously gonna look like this meaning this is empty and this is empty these are empty this one gets filled like that and that's filled like that done Woo! end game puzzle and one of the tangram pieces hooray Ah, uh, that's for the graveyard. The graveyard will be seeing, uh, in the mausoleum! Charlotte? Why are you going downstairs, Charlotte? That wasn't just my imagination. Her ghost. Her ghost. Oh, that puzzle was too confusing and didn't- uh, Okay, I'll try to explain that puzzle next time we see it, okay? I'll do a better job of explaining. I, I apologize for being confusing. And Charlotte. There's something down there. Charlotte's ghost leads Nancy to this key. Got it. So that's the key to the graveyard. Uh, the mausoleum, graveyard mausoleum. I keep using those words interchangeably. So uh, we can solve some puzzles there. 
Ooh, and there's another cool thing. Yeah, we can watch that reel for a, a real good time. Yep. That's really what I'm going to do. So where's the reel? Over here. Yeah. Hmm. Charlotte's birthday. Do 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 do. Hey, look at that thing. Look at that. Why would you play that? Turn it off now. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you with the movie. I know, but just give me a minute. Seeing that just, well, it, it made my head hurt worse. I keep seeing it when I close my eyes. No. Did you have more to say? Yeah, I had a lot more to say. So, uh, wow. Who's in that portrait with you? Who else was in that old portrait with you? You know, hon, we had that covered up for a reason. I can't talk about it. Not right now. Please, just leave me be. Oh, no. Okay. Yes, hon. Can you tell me a little about Harper? It seems like you two really didn't get along. She blamed me for what happened to Charlotte. Blamed you? On some level, she was convinced it was me. I let it go at first. She was just torn to shreds about the whole thing. But the more time went by, the more disturbed she got. She was obsessed with the idea that I had stolen part of Charlotte's locket. What kind of locket? I never figured out what she was talking about. One night, she followed me out onto the widow's walk. When I got near the railing, she pushed, and I fell. By the time I got out of the hospital, she was gone. I can't say I wasn't relieved. Attempted murder? Wow. Harper really was down there. I'm not making things up. What do you want from me? Nothing. I just want to find Jessalyn, like you. Then no more games now, okay? I'm telling the truth. Nancy, enough. Just go away. Wow. So many conversations end with her getting mad at me. It's very, very sad. Okay... Well, in order to check out... Whoa! Charlotte? Hi, Charlotte. No, stay away! Stay away! Social distancing! Stay away from... No! Fire and death? Ow. What, what happened? I don't want to be set on fire like Charlotte. If I can stack enough things together, maybe I could climb up to that wallpaper. Yeah, the entire family needs, needs therapy. That is true. This family has some major problems. So if I can stack these things up, I can reach this wallpaper. Okay, let's do it. Oh, please tell me that's close. You can do it, Nancy. Okay, got it. This must be about that star sketch. I should copy the image down. Nancy, I don't need to see that picture. I need to see that clue. Whoa, that was close. Okay, good. Now I can see the clue again. Okay, great. Okay. Whew. So, I think we're done with the area where, where poor Charlotte died. Poor Charlotte. Okay, so which pictures have we finished? We haven't done that one. We don't have the key for it yet. We haven't done that. Yep, so basically, uh, it looks like the only ones we've got now are, uh, having fun in the mausoleum. Plenty of ghosts, we're gonna see them. Ah, the crypt. Ooh, that's a cool way of referring to this area. Oh! 
Harper, nice to meet you. You. Me. I had to come out here because of you. I still don't understand why you're hiding. You don't know who these people are. You think you know who to trust, but you don't. I really don't know who to trust. I trust you. You do? Then don't tell anyone where I am. But just so you know, you shouldn't trust me either. I don't have your best interests at heart. You're looking for something in here, aren't you? Keep your voice down. Do you want me to be found? At this point, yes. You do? Well then, gotta fly. I gotta fly. Woo! Okay, so I got rid of her on purpose so we could that explore this important. area. And... Hmm. <gasps> violent outburst? Newspaper, so a violent outburst from Harper at the funeral. Oh my gosh. If I can match the colors on the sides of each piece, I should be able to get this back in order. Oh, that's a puzzle, but I was gonna do this puzzle. So you want to use a flower, gather your petals where she stands. Okay. So I think it means we need to put a flower. I just got a flower from inside. We put a flower here. And then that will turn into something eventually. Eventually. Hmm. Let's see if we can solve these uh these these crypt puzzles. Aha, here we go. Okay. I think you press that button to uh, push a piece off. Give me just a moment. I have a, I, I, um, I'm pulling up my emergency backup notes in case I, I forget how to solve this puzzle. So, let's start with uh, this one, shall we? Two handles pull out the box to which the star belongs. From the middle it shines above them all. So it's the middle and it's above them all with two handles. It must be here, right? That must be it. So let's see if this works. I hope this works and it's not the case that I'm just wasting my time trying to solve the puzzle in the wrong spot. Yes? A locket. Woo! I should hold on to this. All right, okay, we got number one. Uh, number one finished, right? Okay, and next we need to find uh, the, the, the next one. This can be really difficult, figuring out where these things. Okay, so we, we finished that. First of its kind along the bottom is this thingy. So first, um, maybe this one. So is this a snake sketch? That was a snake. So snake plate matching with the snake sketch. Um, let's see there. Okay. I think I got it. And nothing. Nothing. Okay, so snake sketch, uh, maybe this one. Yeah, this is where it's just... This is where the puzzle gets difficult. First of its kind along the bottom wasn't the one we were just looking at. It was something else. Nancy's just casually opening up caskets, yes. The missing piece. Now this key should work. Woo! Excellent. So next we need the, the bird sketch. And did I have the clue for that one? Nope, just this one. Okay, so then I won't do the other two. Then I won't do the other two. Um, just in case the camera, does the camera give me a clue for it? Yes, it does. It says the bird one is over here, right? So maybe one of these already has the bird piece on it. Is that it? 
Or do I need the bird? Yep. Yep, that's it. Okay. So let's do this bird one. And let's hope Harper's camera, I mean, um, Jesselyn's camera was correct. Ooh, that's wrong. Yeah, I need to do something different in order to get that square correct. So the square is going to have to look like this. Got it. So that's for uh, Charlotte's door. Nancy playing with creepy dead bodies for an eyeball Easter egg. So I think that's it. I think we've done all of them, maybe? All of them in one go? Let's do this puzzle then. Wait, 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 wait. We wanted to leave and come back. This should come in handy. For that piece. As soon as we get its as soon as we get its thingy, we'll we'll be able to do that. So here what we want to do is get all the pictures picture pieces into place. Nancy sort of explained it. Um We want to make sure these colors are matching so it's going to look something like this those ones are perfect i'm going to need like uh, a blue and uh, a blue and a green there where is blue and green next to each other that's not it that's not it either there there so gonna have to go like this B A that's gonna have to go there which means this piece is totally incorrect so where's a, another green and a blue huh yeah like that so this is gonna be sort of the top path B A U um this piece is wrong we need we need uh purple boo that's the wrong one yeah something like that no that can't be right either because it's gonna spell out the name Beauregard um, so that has to be like that yeah, this is, has to be it. Can that be it? No. Okay, so... G-A... How do I get the R? Is that it? Is that Beauregard? Is that Beauregard's name? Yes. So now let's just get all these empty pieces in space. This doesn't even kind of work. Um... G and A will have to be separated for that to work, which means this goes here for that blue to work. And then that doesn't go there because this, this blue and this purple don't match. So that doesn't match either. And this doesn't match either on top. Okay. So I need a... Uh, no. Hmm. Sorry about this, everybody. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'm trying to solve this puzzle legitimately. And it's giving me problems. That looks good. Um, if I swap these, maybe? No, 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 that's not even kind of it. Um, so I'm gonna need a, a side, yeah. Oh, regard. Got it. Hmm. So this is the orange, okay. So Clue is Beauregard. That Clue is Beauregard. And uh, the Clue is to clean up this. Those colors along the bottom must be why Beauregard's tombstone is important. Got it. Okay, so I believe our friend Wade... You sure do like creeping around. ...is going to tell us something important here. 
There's a lot of things we can talk to him about. Oh my gosh. I swear, Harper was there. I told you. Life don't play by the rules here. Anyways, if she was, she ain't now. Do you think that what happened to Charlotte was an accident? Dunno. The night before, I saw her take off into the night holding this little package like it was precious to her. The look on her face. I should have stopped her, said, What is wrong? Here, take this. Is this Charlotte's? Yes. Do you know what this is? Can you tell me what it's for? Maybe that's enough for now. So this is the instructions for that puzzle I solved. And I'm going to solve the next one right here. You want to arrange the color pairs. Orange and blue numbers along the side indicate how many of that color in that row or column. Two squares of the same color can't be next to each other. That's how the puzzle works. I'd better get going. Later. me in my this looks like the one in the ruins I bet the numbers from the coffin will work So, for example, this row contains zero blues. So we know this piece has to be empty because if it's on, then it has a blue. So those those pieces all have to be empty, but this row also has two reds. So that means these two pieces are both reds, and now that row is completely finished. That's how we solve this puzzle. Okay, so this is going to have four blues and two reds, so that means one of these is going to be uh, not filled out. This is a three and a four, this particular column, so this is filled, and then one of these is empty. It's not this one. Um, yeah, it's not that one. Because the, the empty one is, uh, the missing one is a red. Yeah, yeah, I think that's how we solve this puzzle. Okay, so this row, uh, this particular column has four reds, so this piece has to go there. And then this is a three and a four. So three and a four means everything's filled out except for, for, for one. So any piece that contains two in that row or column, that's a three and four, has to be filled in. Okay. I just need to figure out which one of these is the blue one and not. Um, it has to be this. Because this row has four blues in it. And that's the only way we can get four blues. Is if we have something like this. Yep, like that. That's how we'd have to do it. Let's see if I got that correct. Yeah, because I can't stick the extra blue in here at the top because that's blue next to blue. So that's how we solve uh, the puzzle. Basically, just work it out like this. So this row's got everything finished. So that means this is blank, so I'm going to mark that one off as blank. I hope, I hope my uh, explanation is correct. I really do. Okay, so three and three. So, um, let's see. Can I get a three and a three without? No, I can't get a three and a three without this being filled. So that piece has to be filled. Good. And so one of these is a blue. It can't be this one because that'd be blue next to blue. So this is the one with the blue and then the other piece is blank. This uh, is a two and a two, but it looks like, okay. It needs two blues, but then it also needs, uh, yeah, this one's wrong. It's got one too many threes. 
So maybe I messed up there. And then we've got a blue here. And then this would be blank. And then this would be blank. Ooh, I sure hope I didn't screw this up. Do-da, do-da. Okay, so I did screw it up somehow. Oh, well. Let's just clear off these ones and then try again. Okay, try again from the beginning. Alright, so both these need to be red. Meaning these ones are all empty. These ones are all empty. These ones are all empty. Okay, this is a three and a four, meaning this one's filled. It's gonna have to look like that. Um, this is a three and a four. I mean, the empty one has got to be one of these two, so that means this needs to be all filled in. Uh, and then that one has to get filled in, and that's good. So one of these is blank, one of these is filled in. We don't know which one quite yet. Um, this is a three and a one, so the one either is this or this, or this or that. Okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> um, hmm gonna try to be more careful and slow this time around because I screwed it up last time so this is the four and the two so that means um, because most of them are red we're gonna have no this is red and this has an extra blue so it's gonna be something like this to have the red and the red next to each other because that way you get the extra red and the extra blue in that column. And then this would be that extra, extra red over there. I think. So that means this is blank. This is blank. And then this one's red to get that thing to be fully done. That column's fully done. That means that, 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 that those columns are fully done. Okay, so the right-hand side is done. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, still can't figure out which one of these is filled in. Um, okay, what about this row? Like that. Or like this. No, it would be this. And so would there be a way to get... No. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave that alone for now. Four two, meaning the piece uh, this piece has to be filled in. Yeah, because it's got a four in it, so it it it, it has to be filled in. I know it's red like that because it's next to a blue. Um, yeah. So where's the other four? Okay, so this is also a four, meaning this piece has to be filled in, and this piece has to be filled in in order for that to be a four, right? So it's gonna have to look something like this. Now I can't put a piece in here in this spot because we've got the blue and the red next to each other. So either, no matter what piece I put in there, it would be a, a red next to a red or a blue next to a blue. So for this to be, this to work, I need a blue here and then a blue here and that column's completely done. This one's empty. This row's done, so this one's empty. And um, how do I get a three and a three? Like this? And like this for that row okay and this row needs a blue somewhere hmm. this one needs oh, this can't be a blue okay so this one has to be a blue and that means this row is done okay and we've got oh here yeah see how we've got this piece here got it. it's done okay um that puzzle's kind of crazy. Okay. Yes. Round of applause for solving that puzzle legitimately. Yes. Yes. Woo! We solved it. Woo!
Looks like something is missing. Can't ch check. Did that. That's done. Still have to do that. That's done. That's done. That's done. Okay, so what do I still have to do? Unlock the door in the tunnels. It's, uh, this thing. Well, I don't seem to have the stuff to solve this particular puzzle yet. And this key is going to be found at hmm. some point. So let's solve this newest puzzle. We are secrets, we are lies. Uh, th uh, <clears throat> we are secrets, we are lies. Through the walls, fix your eyes. Up the tunnels, you must seek. The hidden ways, he does sneak. Make haste, doomed girl, do not delay. Something, something, something. Our hill, get away! Whoa. Charlotte, stay away. I don't want to high five, Charlotte. I do not care if she's an adult. She's my daughter. Wait, what? I should listen. She's not a runaway. She'd never do that to us. No, no, no. It's not cold feet. It's not running away. Someone took her. She is in danger out there. Do something. She sounds pretty upset. She sounds, um, super upset. So, in the hidden passageways, he does sneak. So, now we go through the barrels. Sounds like someone's out there. I should take a look. Charlotte, darling, you're going to have to help me out here. What? What's he up to? So, our buddy Wade... Uh, sneaking around and dropping this. Hmm. Wonder how he was unable to get inside. The door is clearly left open. Nancy didn't lock it behind her. Time to figure out what's up with these clocks. So with this puzzle, you want to get all the clocks to move, so uh, they they have the exact same time. At midnight. Okay. There's something strange going on with these clocks. I need to find out what. You do? Huh. I thought our good friend Nancy would be able to figure this one out on herself. I mean, out by herself. I guess she cannot. Let's see if there's another secret note for Nancy here. No, no secret note now. Use here. Place a flower where she stands. I could have sworn we did that. No, we didn't do that. La 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 Could be I missed one of the uh the the, the tile puzzles because this hmm. Hmm. we clearly need the tiles in order to solve this puzzle. Oh here we go. And Charlotte's masquerade ball. Okay. Well and there's the menu. Okay, so we have a small key. Got it, this is what we do. So that small key is going to be used for the Ethel May Newton grave puzzle, which was downstairs in the basement area. Okay, good. Got a little stuck there, but then quickly got myself unstuck. Hey, Harper. Oh, look. It's little old you. Where's the cavalry? Why are you still hiding? What's to stop me from telling everyone where you are? Maybe I'm the only one who can help find Jessalyn. Did you ever think of that? All right, I won't tell. 
You're dressing up as Charlotte or doing something to fake these hauntings, aren't you? <laughs> the hits keep coming. You're a doll, a real peach. Ew! Oh, you're not kidding, are you? Am I dressing up as my dead sister for kicks? After the only family member everyone can agree on has gone missing? Is that what you're asking? Yes, that's the question. The implication was more or less added by you. No, I am not, so shut it! Ah, well, okay, someone said I get the, uh, tiles over here. Whoopsies. Okay, so that's where the tiles are. Should have gotten those tiles earlier. Oh, well. Hmm. This puzzle. Okay, so we need to get the, the, the grave to equal the, whoa, date of her death, which was March 14th, 1933. So it's going to be 3141933. So it... I should arrange these to match the date from Ethel's tombstone. One nine. Three. Oh, but I needed to get like a three in there. So something like this. Yeah, something like this. Three one four one nine three three. Oh yeah. We got the flower tile. Okay, great. Oh, sleepy time. I get some sleep. Sleepy. Still no luck with the search party? No, and the numbers are starting to fall off. Don't worry. It's hard not to. You have to get more sleep. I know. I've been feeling a little groggy since I've been here. We're here for you. Thanks. I'd better go. I'll talk to you two later. Yay! All right, so two puzzles now. Uh, first is this one, now that we have the tiles. I bet I can trace a path from the top left corner to the top right corner. Did I save a picture? Please tell me I did. Okay, so purple, green, green, blue, blue. So purple, light green, dark green. And then there was dark blue, light blue. And from there to purple, light green, dark green, dark blue, light blue, purple, light green, dark green, dark blue, light blue, purple, light green, dark green, dark blue, light blue, purple, light green, um, uh, dark green, dark blue, light blue, purple. Was that it? The passages are no longer safe. It becomes necessary to hide them, unlock the clocks, strike 12 on all five of them together. Got it. We need to get all of them to strike 12 o'clock at the same time. So I think it's something like we start all the clocks at 10. Yeah, start them all off at the same time, just to get a sense of how fast they are. People are saying I missed an Easter egg um, with that puzzle. I don't know. I don't remember that. Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna get all the all of them at ten o'clock, and then go. So this one moved an hour, that one moved an hour, that moved, uh, that moved to 12. So 10 o'clock, and then I guess if this one's at one o'clock, so those, those two would match at the same time. So this one moved exactly one half hour, 
in that time, so it needs to be at like 10.30. This one moved one hour in that time, so it's the same as the leftmost clock, and this moved a half hour in that time, so this needs to be at 11.30. Go. Done. Better wait for Clara to leave first. So we can spy on Clara. Well then you didn't pay her enough. Don't make me the bad guy here. We agreed on this. You said she was no good for us. You said that, not me. Then take care of it. He's not my son yet. And if you don't take care of this, he never will be. And you know what that means. Sounds like Clara is fighting with uh, Colton's parents. She really wants to make sure the wedding goes on. Um, it does sound like she's totally set up this uh, wedding. Like it's a fake wedding. Oh my gosh. I mean, at least Colton and Jessalyn like each other. But at the same time, okay, we want to use this here, the flower plate, the flower plate. No, 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 okay. Okay, hold on a second, hold, hold, I don't, put down the flower sketch. Can I, can I not, can I not, okay. Ugh. The game's not letting me use that there, so the flower note must not be, then it must be like here. Right? So fingers crossed, this is the correct spot. If not, we try more spots and hope to get lucky. I think I did this one wrong. Yeah, yeah, I did this one wrong. Okay. There. Okay, wrong spot. Therefore, here, we'll try this one. That picture does indicate that it's it's a middle row. It's a middle row, right? Got it. Someone went through a lot of trouble to hide this. It must be important. Oh, we're we're actually zooming along and making a ton of progress here. Yeah, new name in the cemetery, maybe. Let's check it out. Nancy Drew. That's your name, isn't it? Yep, that would be me. Well, you don't get less subtle than that now, do you? Nope. Who did this? Let's hope it's one of the living. Creepy. All right. So now let's use the button for the numbers puzzle. Hooray! It was here. Okay, so uh, according to those notes inside uh, Charlotte's room, do we have this listed? Mr. I don't go in the house Wade was up in the hallway lurking. Okay, so the top and bottom edges are equal to the day of his death, and the day of dedication is equal to the other side. So the dedication was on the 15th, and the top and bottom are 25. So it's 25 on top, 25 on bottom, 15 on right, 15 on, on the left. Okay. So 25. So that means the big numbers have to be here. Basically. So 25, how do I get 15 out of these numbers 
And then 25. Five, twenty-five, and then fifteen. Um, something like this. That'd be that's twenty-five. That's twenty-five, and then here on the top. Okay, and then, and fifteen on the sides. So um, a five there. And then four plus no four plus eight plus three would be uh fifteen. Um The four corners also have to add up to twenty five. Okay, forget that. I am cheating the solution to this puzzle then. 7, 3, 5, 6, 10, 4, 4, 2, 9. This. That's the solution then. That's the solution to the puzzle. Okay. Jessalyn? Dun 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 dun! Yes? You're safe. I don't know who you are. Nancy, Wade hired me to help find you. Really? Wade? Yeah, he seemed really worried. Oh, man. My family's just a hot mess. What is wrong with us? Nancy, you can't tell anyone you've seen me. No one. So you did run away. No, I, I can't say what happened. And you can't either. I can't agree to that. I came here to find you. Good for you, but I came down here not to be found. And this is a game over sequence here. Tell me what's happening or I'll tell everyone I found you. I'm not a bad person. I'm really not, you know? You could have helped. Fire so red. What are you doing? This is your fault. Night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. Jesselyn just murders Nancy. Thanks, Jesselyn. Good for you, but I came down here not to be found. Let me help you. Fine. You haven't left me much of a choice. You were hiding out in the tunnels because you and Harper are working together? Why? I didn't come here intending anything more than a good scare. Harper found out I was coming and snuck up on me. She almost died. I had to give her a paper bag for the breathing to calm her down. <laughs> you shouldn't be proud of that. Oh, grow up. You didn't die. I'd been told my whole life that Harper was crazy. What a coincidence. Me too. <laughs> Ignore her for a second. Come here. Secrets don't make friends. Look, she's not as nuts as she seems. That, as they say, is debatable, my dear lamb. Stop it! She needs to- We're trying to have a real conversation here. Quit interrupting like- like a mean YouTuber making weird jokes at every moment of the game. Come on! No. Leave if you don't want to listen, but it needs to be said. I'm sorry, Jessalyn. I'll go. The night of the fire, Harper was there. My whole life, my mother's kept me away from Harper. Said it was for my own good. I came here looking for Charlotte's ghost, but instead Harper found me. She told me that my mother was responsible for Charlotte's death. And I stayed to listen. I didn't laugh. I didn't run away. I stayed and listened to every word. Because my mother, because she's so cold. And I believe that it might be true. I don't know if I'm going crazy or if I'm already there, but I have to know. Please, I need your help. What made you trust Harper? I wish I could explain. I've been asking myself the same thing. My mother had us convinced that Harper was dangerous. I think my mother's been putting this whole family under her thumb, me included, to keep us from finding whatever it was Charlotte was about to do. 
So what was Charlotte about to do? Do you think seeing the fire is what made Harper... Harper? Imagine carrying a secret that big for so long, not having anyone listen. What can I do to help? We've been doing this Harper's way, but we're running out of time. I need you to get the necklace from my mother's briefcase. I'll get Harper to distract her. Why? What's so special about it? Charlotte told Harper to open the locket if anything ever happened to her. But if we don't open it the right way, it'll destroy what's inside. Here, this will help you open the briefcase. My mother knows about the locket. That's why she never lets the necklace out of her sight. You need to find a way to get it. Do you know that Colton is here? I don't have time for that right now. Please go find the necklace and bring it to me. Wow. See you later. Goodbye. Yeah, I just, just wow. Okay, so this is the briefcase clue. So you basically need to go through everywhere and figure this out. Was the masquerade ball on October 31st? Yes. Uh, did Cornelia die in that year? Uh, maybe. So you need to put all those clues together. Ugh, creepy. And that way we can break into her briefcase. Harper's gonna scare her right now. What do you want from me? The coast is clear. Time to snoop. I don't understand why Jessalyn couldn't have done this herself, but okay. Locked. I need to figure out the right combination. Where did Jessalyn get all those instructions for the briefcase anyway? That seems... odd. Got it! That's the correct solution. This must be what Jessalyn was looking for. Totally looking for that. And, uh, that's it. Cool. So now let's escape back to that area. Do we need to tell Jessalyn first? Hi. I found the necklace. Good. Wait, shoot. It's missing a front piece. I need you to find it as fast as you can. It triggers the opening mechanism. This necklace was used by spies in the Civil War. If you open it without the missing piece, it shreds the message inside. Sorry to bring it up, but were you aware that Colton's seeing someone else? I'm not all that surprised, to be perfectly honest. You're not? No. The whole thing was mainly my mother's idea. Do you know about Lexi? Colton and I were never in love. We were in a mess. He loved Lexi, and I hope he goes back to her. I found the locket. Here. I can't open it. I'm going to need your help. This looks like it matches one of the notes I found. This one. Okay. So, mom. Um, okay. And then 1863. So, mom is. Charlotte's mom, I guess, is gonna have to be Mariana. Maria, and then NNA. So. M A R I A N N A eighteen sixty seven. Who died in eighteen sixty seven? Or was somebody born in eighteen sixty seven? Here I am, here I am. So H I R I A M and then right. Right. Where's Emelyn Wright? E M E L I N E. E M E. -E 
L I N E. That's it. Here you go. What's it say? I can't. I'm gonna go see her myself. What is it? Oh, no, if Jessalyn confronts Clara, things could get dangerous fast. Dun 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 dun. dun. Very dangerous, very dangerous. I need to find a way to light the tunnel first. So Nancy can't explore here because it's far too dark, and I think she needs to get uh, like a clue from Colton before she can start. If I can get this monster working, puzzle. it should light up the tunnel. The motor won't work unless I find a way to move that ball bearing down into the shaft. Yes, this is kind of a difficult puzzle. What you need to do is basically move this thing all over. And then go backwards through the areas. So like here, I'm going like this. Ha 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 And then I need to go backwards to that area I just opened. See if I can get through these three doors correctly. Yes. I think that's it. Got it. Woo! This puzzle's not that bad. It's still kind of a crazy puzzle. Yep, and our buddy Colton is going to have that final clue we need. Hooray! So we're basically at end game, I think. And everybody's gone now, so I can't talk to them. Um, oh darn. I think it's time I tell you about that thing I forgot. The night of the fire. I was there. I found Charlotte leaving the crypt. She was really upset. I must have said something to her because she came over to me. I could tell she wanted to say something. But it was like someone took her voice. She gave me this big hug and ran off. And she gave me this. I think she wants me to give this to you. Yep. I wish I had known what to do that night. I wish I could have saved her. You were just a kid. Yeah, and I acted like a kid and ran away. And I hid. I closed my eyes and wished with all my might that someone would make everything all right again. I never told anyone this. But I think I saw someone else there. The fire wasn't an accident. And now, I'm afraid whoever did it took Jess. Why is Lexi so important? I've always felt a little... out of step with the world. When I met Lexi, it's like everything snapped into place. I don't know how else to put it. And it wasn't the same with Jessalyn? I do love her. But not in the way I tried to. Jess is my best friend. And always will be. If she ever comes home, and if she ever forgives me. Yeah, so how old was Colton? That's a good question. What do you think of Clara? She's... she's just a little severe until you get to know her. And then? I wouldn't know. She does seem a little tough to get to know. I think it's an act. Come right down to it. She keeps the family and the company from falling apart. She can't afford to look weak. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm gonna call Nancy's friends here, but in a moment, let's check the family tree. Okay, so um, he was alive when Charlotte died in 1989, and Jesselyn was born that same year, 1989. So he remembers something from the year Jessalyn was born. So how much older is he than Jessalyn? Wouldn't he have to be like 10 years older than her? What year did this game come out? Um, 2009 was it? I'm not sure. Um, well, it was after 2006 because that's when Luther died. So yeah, that's, very odd. Okay, well, let's call Bess. Bess's phone. All right, bonus Ned. What are you two up to? 
George is in New York. So, she got the internship with that Technology of Tomorrow place? Yeah, Ned and I were just planning a road trip for when you're back. I was in the middle of trying to convince Ned to grow a bad mustache so we can hang out in Brooklyn. Not going to happen. Someone has to, Ned, and George already said no. It was a really angry no, too. Anyway, did you make it to the island? I did. So the game came out in 2013. Okay, so that's that's when the game came out. Did. I've been doing a little research, and I can see why Savannah sent you. Why's that? If I believed in ghosts, I wouldn't come within a few hundred miles of Black Rock Island. I can definitely see why. Even I have to admit it does have a certain abyss gaze is also into you vibe to it. Put that on a billboard. I've got your back. I've been reading up on missing persons cases and hauntings. Really? Oh, that's great. I, on the other hand, have been watching videos of otters so good at stacking things. Additionally, I've kidnapped Ned. I've been so bored since George left, and Ned's a very active listener. Mm-hmm. See? And he's also very quick to Stockholm. Nickerson family trait. We like being liked. Oh, thanks, you two. Yeah, it would be cool if they, they went on a, a, what do you call it, a road trip. That would be awesome. I found Jesselyn. Hello, that's good news. <sighs> Hooray, she's alive. You gotta mention that up front. What happened? Harper snuck up on her the night she disappeared. I knew it. No, wait, it's not what you think. At least, maybe not. Harper has always been convinced that Charlotte's death wasn't accidental, that Clara was behind it. She's been trying to get to Jesselyn for years, but Clara had convinced Jesselyn Harper was crazy, which probably wasn't hard. When Jesselyn finally heard what Harper had to say, I think part of her knew it might be true. If she even considered that it might be true... Yeah, if someone said that about my mom, I'd roll my eyes. Do you think it might be true? I don't know. Jesselyn doesn't seem like she'd be willing to let so many people worry about her unless there was some truth to it. Why not just go to the police? Charlotte's death was ruled accidental. Harper needed Jesselyn's help to gather evidence from Clara or no one would believe her. I think I could really use a break. When I get home, we're doing something fun. My thoughts exactly. Everyone else is letting me down. George is gone. Joe's discovered hiking, which Nancy is just walking. That's what it is. But it doesn't stop him from talking about it. And Frank is, I don't know what Frank's problem is. He's all sullen. And he keeps talking about needing to grow up and maybe get an MBA or something. You gotta come back and restore balance to the world. Also, Ned's going to need a break from me. Mm-hmm. See? The silence speaks volumes. I just saw a ghost. So what are we talking? Puppet? Mirror tricks? No. Listen, don't tell anyone else this. Is this going to be a ghost blind item? A well-known spirit was spotted at a popular haunt canoodling with a certain ghost about town known for his habit of appearing in mirrors. Can you channel Sirius Bess for a moment? Okay. Homework, my dad talking about taxes, that picture of a puppy who got lost. Old paintings of European royalty. I'm there. Thanks. Since I've gotten here, things have been getting stranger and stranger. I can't shake this feeling. It's like an odd weight. I'm not saying the ghosts are real here. I'm just saying... Huh, I don't know what I'm saying. That doesn't sound like the Nancy I know. <sighs> I know. I just need to clear my head. There is always a scientific explanation. Ned, you gotta tell her to come home. Still gotta work on that whisper, Bess. Nancy, you're really scaring me. Come home. I will, just as soon as I can. See you later. Call back soon. Okay, so those are Nancy's friends. Let's go back to solving the game. A fun little break before <laughs> hmm. uh, this, this puzzle. Okay, this puzzle's pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. So if you cover up like the left half of this number, it's a three. The left half of this one, it's a two. Left half of this one, it's a one. So they're just simple numbers. 
Just simple numbers. We had a very similar puzzle in White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Found something. Cool, a hidden safe. I bet there's a sequence to push these in. First we have the slider puzzle, then we have the sequence to push them in. Okay, so we need a piece over here in the upper right. Uh, I mean upper left. Yeah, let's start with the upper left. Uh, upper left, uh, three pieces on top, two pieces on left. Where's the three pieces on top, two pieces on left? It's not this one, because those two pieces are close together. So, um... Perhaps this? This or that? I'll try to see if this piece works. Nope, it's not this one, so it's gotta be this one. Good. Okay, that piece is good, so I'm gonna uh, leave it into place. Nobody likes this puzzle. I'm sorry everybody doesn't like this puzzle. Okay. So now I need a piece which has uh, three, three levers. Uh, let's just get the corner pieces in place, perhaps. Perhaps the easiest way to solve the puzzle. So two pieces right next to each other on the left. Yep, here it is. So this is the bottom left corner piece. I thought I had it. Here it is. Okay. Oh, that's it. But nope, 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 nope. That can't be it. So... This one? Yeah, the corner pieces should be the easy ones to figure out. There we go. Because those are the only ones with matching things. So, like, um, you know... This top doesn't match the bottom of that piece. They don't match. I think that's how this puzzle works. That looks really, really good there. Uh, yeah. So let's get that piece locked into place. And let's get the upper upper right one. So the upper right one's going to have three on the right. Here. Here. Here it is. Cool, got it. Okay, so now, now we need to figure out, okay, what's a piece with two on the top? And it could be this one. Nope, it's not that one. So it's gotta be either this one or that one. Oh wait, that one's locked into place. So if that's the piece which goes there, then I need to find did I get those two correct at the same time without even really trying it? Okay. Hooray for Argolfomf. Um, now let's get uh, a piece. So we need three on the left. Three on the left. Where's a piece with three on the left? This one. So it would be uh, this piece here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I need to find the piece with just two on the left. So just two on the left sort of near the top and the bottom. I think this might be it? So let's try it out. Yeah, yeah, okay, so let's say we've got the top done and and then the left-hand side done. Now let's do uh, the bottom, perhaps? So the bottom's gonna have two pieces that are far apart. Those aren't far apart enough. Those aren't far apart enough. It's gotta be this one, okay. Okay, and that looks good too. Um, that piece, that piece right here, this one, looks like it's good. So now we just need to get those pieces in the uh, opposite direction, sort of like this. Yeah, like this, one, two, and they both slide into place. Okay, let's hope I've made zero mistakes, zero mistakes. So right hand side, a uh, piece with four, it's got to be this one. And then a piece with a single one by itself. This one, maybe? This one? Okay. So like this. 
done. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna reset the levers. So where was that locket note? The locket note is, um, this piece, like that symbol, to that symbol, one, four, five, six, eight. So one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next is gonna be uh, that symbol to the bottom right. So one, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven, eight. One, three, five, seven, eight. Nine, eleven. I'm not, I'm not sure there is a cheat for this puzzle. I think you have to do it legitimately. One, two, three, five. Anyway, you, you just saw my strategy for solving the puzzle legitimately. I don't know if that helps or if it doesn't. So one, two, one, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Got it. Done. If this is what Clara was trying to keep hidden, I think she's the one who started the fire that night. So Charlotte wrote a will, a, a codicil to her will. So it changes it. Do, 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 do. So the part where it says she gives Clara 100% of her estate, replace that with this sentence. I give everything to Harper. She gets 100% of my estate. <coughs> Fire? Oh, I'd better get out of here. And end game time. We have three different endings to the game, everyone. Woo! So, uh, let's see all three endings. We've got time. So, three endings. Let's do it. Nancy, help! What's the matter? It's Harper. She's in bad shape. I can't carry her. There's no time to help. Sorry. Dear Ned, the fire was completely out of control, but I was able to fight my way out of the house. Jessalyn and Harper have been hospitalized, but Colton and Wade aren't returning my calls. I hope they're okay. Clara still hasn't been found. I don't know what else to say this time. I wish I could go back and do things differently. I guess I'll be coming home. Love, Nancy. Such a sad ending. Okay, so we're gonna go back and do some other endings. Nancy, help! What's the matter? It's Harper. She's in bad shape. I can't carry her. So that's the sad ending where Nancy refuses to help save Harper. I bet we could build something to get her out. I could use this to build a makeshift wheelbarrow. Nancy just gets up and leaves everyone. Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. That's obviously the worst ending. Okay, so. Slightly better ending uh, here. I don't know if I found everything I need, but we just find random stuff. We're making a wheelbarrow. Hmm. Hmm. So I'll save my uh, game here. And if you call Bess, we get silliness. Hey. Thornton Hall's on fire. Are you calling me from inside of a burning house again? Maybe. Nancy, we have talked about this. All right, all right. I'll get off the phone. House on fire. Pen very hot. Nancy's got a good point. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can find the final thing that I'm missing here. I agreed to help. I better not leave yet. Well, no, it's not there. Hmm. I agreed to help. I better not leave yet. 
Yeah, apparently sometime in the past, Nancy... Nancy is called from the inside a burning building. Hmm. 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 I don't think you can call again. Uh, we can try. Nancy, uh, what's happening? You can, okay. I met Jesselyn's mom. Poor her. Assuming she's innocent, what's your impression? She's reserved. I've had Nancy on all. Okay. See you later. See ya. Okay, 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 okay. Where is that final final part of the wheelbarrow? We need to find this other wheel here. That looks like a wheel there. Can I grab it? No. Hmm. Yeah, this is tricky. Here, found it. Thanks, I'll get her out. Nancy, my Okay, gonna save here for Mother's the next upstairs. ending. She's in the bedroom. It's too dangerous to ask you to help. You decide. So Jesslyn says, hey, I need you to go upstairs. How does she know her mother is upstairs? And, uh, you know, why does she expect Nancy to save uh, her mom? Jesslyn, save your own mother while Nancy saves Harper. Wouldn't that be safe? Well, ending number two is, we'll escape, let Clara die. I'm sorry, I can't help. There's no time. Dear Ned, the fire was completely out of control, but I was able to fight my way out of the house. Jessalyn and Harper made it out right behind me. Clara still hasn't been found. The fire department traced the source of the fire back to the faulty furnace in the basement and insisted we all visit the hospital for exposure to toxic fumes. Which explains some of the things I saw around the house. Nice to know I wasn't going crazy. Apparently, many of the ghosts in Victorian-era fiction may have been inspired by the effects of exposure to carbon monoxide from faulty heaters. I assumed the explanation would be reassuring, but in light of everything that's happened, I can't say it is. Jesselyn's gone missing again, this time less dramatically. She told Colton that she needed space from the family, maybe permanently. She hasn't returned my calls. I guess I can't blame her. Wade's dropped out of contact as well. Savannah wrote to say that she decided to try to reach him, but her letters were returned unopened. I've met so many so-called spirits in my cases, each one a bigger hoax than the last. But the day after the fire, a girl in town told me she swore she saw the figures of two women floating in the smoke above Black Rock Island. I have to admit that hearing that made me shiver a bit. I know, not like me at all. Jesslyn is safe, but I can't help but feel like I've missed something. I wish I could go back and do things differently. I guess I'll be coming home. Love, Nancy. So... There was no ghost. Nancy was just smelling toxic fumes. Yep. Let's do the final ending. Thanks, I'll get her out. Nancy, my mother's upstairs. She's in the bedroom. It's too dangerous to ask you to help. You decide. I don't care if it's dangerous. I will get her out. Can I suffer enough for you? Where will you leave me alone? I need you to calm down and come with me. It's too late for us. She'll never let us leave. The time's been reset. Okay, I did this once. I can do it again. Yeah, somebody reset the clock. I'm sorry for what happened. I don't know why or how. It, let's just accept it and move on. I sat at your grave every night for a year. They move at different speeds too. And I said, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to die. You had so much, so much, and I had nothing. And now 
know you want my life. You want me to rot in some prison. For committing murder. Yes, Clara. I, I think I think you might need to go to prison. Well, for I can't committing keep running murder. from you, Charlotte. So let's see if my notes are at all accurate. So the notes I have are 11.20 for this clock, 11.40 for this one, 11.45 for this one, 11.35 for this one, and then 11.50 for this one. Just in time. Yep. I'm getting you out of here. Just let me stay here. I deserve it. You deserve the chance to pay for your mistakes. Now, come on! Um, maybe walk a little bit faster there, Clara? We're in a burning building. Dear Ned, I was able to pull Clara out of the fire just in time. We rushed out the front door before the stairs collapsed. Imagine my relief when I saw that Jessalyn and Harper had made it out safely as well. Clara finally told Jessalyn the truth, and about how sure she was that she'd be pushed out of the family entirely when she discovered Charlotte had changed her will. How jealous and powerless she felt the night she lit the match, and how badly she wanted to scare Charlotte how quickly the fire got out of control, and how heartbroken she was at Charlotte's death. She would have given anything to take that night back. Jesslyn later said that was the first time she saw the real Clara, who wasn't a cold-blooded killer, just a woman so dedicated to hiding from her past, she lost herself. The fire department traced the source of the blaze back to the faulty furnace in the basement and insisted we all visit the hospital for exposure to toxic fumes. The doctor I saw explained that carbon monoxide from Harper's furnace may be the cause of some of the unexplained things I saw around the house. Apparently, many of the ghosts in Victorian-era fiction may have been inspired by the effects of exposure to carbon monoxide from faulty heaters. In the weeks that passed, Jessalyn began to take control of the family company. She's offered way to position on the board and tasked him with keeping an eye on the day-to-day -day operations of the company's labor force. I imagine he'll take her up on the offer once he's back from a trip to visit a certain former ghost hunter. Savannah called to tell me she's invited Wade to come out for a visit. I was a bit annoyed when I found out what Savannah hadn't told me about this case, but I have to admit, I'm really hoping things work out for those two. Colton and Jocelyn seem like they're on the road to patching up their friendship. They both seemed mutually relieved to dissolve the engagement. Colton has a lot to iron out with his parents and his relationship with Lexi, but he seems determined to do things on his own terms. Harper disappeared shortly after the fire. After an exhaustive search, Wade and Jessalyn tracked Harper down and convinced her to rejoin the family. Years of Clara's manipulation left her a bit suspicious of the offer at first, but she finally agreed, provided she could completely raise Thornton Hall, and in its place build a public park dedicated to the memory of the lives lost on Black Rock Island. Jesslyn loved the idea and considered it the first meaningful step toward building a company and a family that would have made Charlotte proud. If you ever find yourself visiting Black Rock Island, the creepiest thing you're likely to encounter is Harper enjoying a good book next to the tombstone that bears her name and maybe those trees, but it's not their fault they look like that. As for me, I'm looking forward to good old non-haunted river heights. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. A spider fell on her hair. I knew that one. Woo, spider in the hair, spider in the hair. <laughs> What time is it? Nancy, turn off your phone before you go to sleep. Listen carefully. The call on the 
Russell has been terminated. Mirror is moving uphill fast. You know who that is, Nancy? The rumor is resolving an excellent Alaska. I secured the formula. We have immediate backup. We might have spoiled the secret. As I'm solving the city, I think I'm being followed. It's a fear. <laughs> Nancy Drew, The Silent Spy. Game number 29, Nancy goes to Scotland and solves mysteries. Woo! All right, so that's the end of the game. That's the end of uh, Ghost of Thornton Hall. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. So this game was pretty scary and and just creepy, but I like the game. Uh, yeah, it, it is a bit of a stretch to say, oh, all that stuff was just carbon monoxide hallucinations, but that was taken as a good excuse to do every single scary thing they could possibly think of, and they just did a ton of scary stuff, and not to mention the characters were also quite scary as well, like Harper, uh, th they were all basically scary in their own way, even Wade. So, adios, everybody. Hope, hope you can get to sleep tonight and you won't be screaming in your sleep, terrified uh, uh, of the, uh, the evil, evil, evil Charlotte. Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back.